Well, hello everyone. I'm going to do a quick description of our day, Kalaho Ihoe Ea, that we're here to celebrate. We have a brief uh, flag ceremony that we would like everybody to participate in. As we all know, Kikamehameha I was a unifier of all the islands. He had several children. One of his sons, Kawi Keoli, Kamehameha III, perhaps the most important of all Kamehamehas, was faced with the threat of foreign encroachment by several nations around the world. As such, Kamehameha sought to protect Hawaii, a small territory, as he saw these larger nations consuming, exploiting, committing violence against other smaller places and people. So Kawi Keoli, in his great wisdom, devised a plan to join the family of nations to achieve nation state status. And in 1842, he sent three emissaries around the world to achieve that end. During that time, Hawaii experienced some civil strife. An emissary by the name of Richard Charlton, agent of the Queen, agent of the Crown, had pili killed with Kawi Keoli. Now, as we saw in 1893 with the American overthrow, Richard Charlton pens a letter to Lord George Paulette, captain, naval vessel, warship. In this letter, Richard Charlton asked Lord George Paulette to exercise gunboat diplomacy, that is, to park his ship in the front of Honolulu, aim his cannons directly at it, and threaten Kauwi Keoli, the king, and the people of Hawaii, that if they do not see their lands, do not see their power, do not see their authority, they will be fired upon. Kauwi Keoli, in his wisdom, sought peace. And in so doing, he agreed to temporarily cede Hawaii's sovereignty over to the British under protest. Five months later, after word from Queen Victoria of these events happening in Hawaii, Admiral Richard Darkin Thomas was sent immediately to Hawaii to meet with the king to see what Hewa has been committed in the name of Great Britain. And so after all facts being reviewed, Admiral Richard Thomas held a ceremony with King Kaui Keoli in a rural park outside of Honolulu. And on that day, July 31st, 1843, following a five-month occupation where all Hawaiian flags were lowered and burned, Admiral Richard Thomas came to the park that we stand in here today park named after Admiral Richard Thomas and on behalf of the Queen lowered his Union Jack lowered all Union Jacks throughout the Kingdom of Hawaii and rightfully replaced it with our high Kalaunu, our high Hawaii our Hawaiian flag and that day became the very first holiday celebrated in the Kingdom of Hawaii called Kala Ho'i Ho'i Ea from this spot, from this park he walks over to Hawaii Ha'o Church and there he proclaims Famously, the words Ua mau ke ea o ka aina i ka pono. Ua mau ke ea o ka aina i ka pono. The sovereignty of our nation was protected by the just. So today, 172 years removed from that fateful day here at this park, we have gathered here to celebrate in a similar occupation. Our people are waking up to the facts, to the truths, and we know where we are. We know who we are. Now we are coming together. The mountain has called us. Our nation is reviving, is being restored. We resuscitate ourselves every time we chant, every time we pull it, every time we circle up, every time we ola al Hawaii and we teach our children what is pono. Our nation gets stronger. So we're here today to wake our nation up. We're here to call for American forces to do what the British did, was to accept your wrong, to clean up your mess, and to hope go back home and leave our nation in peace. So with this ceremony, we call on the United States of America likewise 
to behave in the same manner, to ho'i ho'i ea, to the kingdom and to the people of this aina of Hawaii. Thank you once again for coming down today. You guys may notice there are several significant positions to this park. For one, it's shaped after a Union Jack. You can see that Victoria Street over here, named after Queen Victoria. You see Beretania, Britain, right above us. This is a very, very important part to our nation. So thank you for coming here today. Let's drop those flags and put up our Hawaii. Hookie. Square Park in Honolulu, Hawaii, at uh, commemoration of La Hoi Hoi, uh, restoration of sovereignty. Mm -hmm. Of an event in July 31st, uh, 1843, when the British uh, restored sovereignty to the Hawaiian nation after a short uh, misadventure by a British subject. the uh, British flag being lowered and the uh, Hawaiian flag being raised. Hawaiian flag has the Union Jack in the uh, corner. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, 